All right, we are back and now it is time to finally build your first ad in Facebook Ads Manager. So let's jump back into Meta and let's start filling out all of these modules from start to finish. Ad name, let's add in our product and promotion and add in any attributes that identify this ad. Then under partnership ad, we can toggle this on if we're working with a partner or we can keep it turned off. If you're working with any influencers, this is how you can make those ads look like they're also coming from their page, right? So if I toggle this on, I click manage partnerships, I'm gonna see a list of the different partnerships I have for this brand, right? With the different creators like this one right here and I can select that identity. Then the ad will come from both our page, our brand's page and that creator. Awesome. I'm going to toggle this off for now because this is not a partnership ad, but if you are making ads with influencers, I definitely recommend using this feature. Awesome. The next step here is the ad setup and we have two choices. We can create an ad or we can use an existing post. If you use an existing post, you can pull an ad from your Instagram page or your Facebook page to use as your ad. And then that post is going to generate lots of likes and comments, which are going to live on your page. If you create an ad here in Ads Manager, you'll get a few more customization options, but your ad post won't get to live on your pages with all of those likes and comments that are a byproduct of sales optimized ads. So this is the decision that you have to make. Are you going to post it first onto your pages, then select use existing post? Or are you going to create the ad from scratch? For the purpose of this video, we're going to create the ad from scratch, but I'll also show you in the next video how to create an ad using an existing post. Then we're going to define the creative source. Are we manually uploading images and videos, or are we creating an Advantage Plus catalog ad which uses data from our feed, right, from our store pulled into Facebook to create a dynamic ad that changes its format and changes which product is shown depending on the user that is receiving the ad. We're going to choose manual upload because I'm going to show you how to make an image or a video ad today. Under format, we can select how we want to structure our ad. Now, bear in mind, there are some enhancements that you can turn on powered by AI that will change the format depending on the user that's seeing it. So you'll show a video when it's likely to drive the conversion and you'll show an image when it's likely to drive the conversion for a different user. But for now, we're just going to select image or video and we're going to keep moving forward. So you don't have to do anything. You can leave this set or you can switch between the, the three options here. There may be more options down the line. Next to multi-advertiser ads, we want to leave this selected and then you can also run your ad during a schedule. I recommend leaving this alone. Then under destination, I definitely recommend copying and pasting in your URL just in case you misspell it. If you send people to the wrong website, your ROAS isn't going to look very good, right? Back into Meta here, we can select the shop destination as well. If you select a product page here, my best selling product it will automatically update the shop destination to that product. But we're not going to do that today. We're sending people to our homepage, a rookie's error. I definitely don't recommend sending people to your homepage if you have better pages that you can take people to. But you may have designed your homepage to be the most incredible landing page, to be the best introduction to your brand. So if that's the case, feel free to bet on your homepage and take people to your homepage first. Just know they might have to perform a few extra clicks depending on how your homepage is configured before they can make the purchase. And that friction from first landing on your website to the cart may be the difference between somebody making a purchase and somebody not making a purchase. So back into Meta here, once we've selected our destination, it's time to set up our ad creative. Here we can select to make an image ad or a video ad. I'm gonna select image ad for the time being. We're gonna move through the site links. These are automatically set up for me. And then we're gonna select an image. Right, I can see this beautiful lifestyle photography image here with a little bit of overlaid text. I'm going to select that. Then we can customize this asset for different placements. Right, we've got the feeds version on the left and we've got stories and reels on the right. Then we can click next. Right, That's all we have to do. And here we can add primary text options. If you're not ready to add in your text, you can just next through this and add it in later. Right, Here we're presented with our enhancements and you can toggle these on or toggle them off depending on your preferences. Then click done. And we're going to be given the opportunity to add in our text again here. I recommend using a tool like Foreplay to find primary text inspiration, right? I'm taking a look at Viore here, which is a close competitor to this brand. And I can use this copy as inspiration for my copy. Maybe I'm going to throw it into ChatGPT and ask it to remix it. I'm going to look at that, look at some more copy for different ads and come up with something unique and my own inspired by what's working for other brands. Let's jump back into Foreplay here and come back into our ads manager and write some text. So I'm going to paste that in here, save up to 20% on your first order with code first 20. 
So I'm making a promotional offer statement in my primary text here. If I toggle on ad preview, I'm gonna see that ad and a preview of it on the right hand side. And that might indicate to me some things that haven't been completed, like the headline and the description. These are defaulting to the brand name because I haven't filled out anything yet. Here you'll see on the left hand side that it says not optimized, right? This is because I only have one primary text optimization. Meta recommends at least three. So try and use three to five options because that's gonna put these copy variations in competition for results and you'll find the copy variation that is most effective at driving results for your budget and you'll spend more on that copy variation and less on others. Let's go and fill that out now. So we're going to add another copy variation and we can say introducing the new collection, whatever we like. There might be a long form one, there might be one with benefit bullets here, right? I might add some benefits in here, 100% really cool, free shipping over $100, 30-day money-back guarantee. So I'm reversing some risk in this one. I'm pr promoting higher average order values and higher cart sizes with this free shipping offer, and I'm giving them a fact and a stat, which might make the offer a little bit better. I could also customize these emojis to more fit the brand. Maybe this one could be a cardboard box, right, for the free shipping. Nice. So I can also use text used previously and it's gonna give me assets here that have performed well in the past. So I'm gonna copy those, click close, and then add another text optimization. And you'll notice that the not optimized and the partially optimized messages are now gone. My text is optimized. However, I can add in two more options here to give me more options for primary text that might improve the performance of my ad. Coming back into meta here, we can do the same thing for headlines. I'm gonna add the brand name, I'm going to say save 20% and I'm going to say sale on now, right? I definitely recommend that you pay more attention to your primary text and don't just wing it like I am for the purpose of this example and actually base your ad copy on what works. Again, you can come into a tool like Foreplay to find ad copy that has been used in ads that have actually worked for some of the fastest growing brands. Back into Meta here. We're gonna scroll down, we're gonna add a description. We could add in the discount code if we have a promotional offer. We could say limited time only, or limited stock, right? Or while stocks last, right? There's a bunch of different ideas for what you could add here as ad copy. Then we have to select our call to action. Do you wanna say shop now, order now, get offer? All of these might be persuasive. The one thing we probably don't wanna do is say watch now. If it's not a video and we're not selling a video and there's no video to watch when they go to the website, right? We want to tell them what we want our customer to do, which is to shop now to redeem an offer or to order their product today. Let's jump back into Meta here, and we can also edit our enhancements at the bottom of this ad creative section. So we can turn on things like overlays, visual touch-ups, 3D animation, text improvements, enhance the CTA, show some products, add site links, and add in animation. If we don't like any of these, we can turn them off. Don't worry, they're not going to impact your performance too much. Meta does recommend using these, and it actually won't use them if they're not contributing to performance. But sometimes they can make your ad look a little goofy. So just take a look at the previews to better understand whether you actually want these added to your ad. Okay, then when we're done, we can click save and move on to the next section. We can translate into different languages automatically, and we can add website tracking and offline events if this is relevant to us. You can also add URL parameters in case you're doing any tracking in third-party tools like TripleWell or Google Analytics. Let's jump in and add a URL parameter. So for campaign source, we want to add site source name. For campaign medium, we want to add the placement. For campaign name, we want to add the campaign name as a dynamic variable. And then for campaign content, we want to add the ad name as a variable. You'll see these warnings. They're just saying that these variables do not update after you publish the ad. So make sure the ad and the campaign is what you want it to be because that's what's going to be forever, right? Then click apply. Awesome. If you want to skip this part and it seems a little bit confusing to you, feel free. If you're not using third-party analytics, UTMs are not a requirement. Then at the bottom here, you can see we can add promo codes to your shop, but if you've integrated your store with your Meta ad account, this is automatically done for you. However, you can manually add some promo codes. Now, I want to speak to the importance of using really good input, because as the old saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. You can use tools like Foreplay to find ads that have worked for other brands. We took a look at this ad earlier from Viore that was kept turned on for 120 days. I used this as inspiration when I was working with this brand to create one of their best performing ads. You can see it up at the top here. This ad spent $58,000, found 1,110 customers, 
at a cost per acquisition of $52 is a very high AOV store for $89,540 in revenue from new customers only. If we take a look at the ROAS, we'll see it was 1.54, which makes sense for this business. They want to break even on acquisition. Awesome. So that is how you can make your best performing ads in Facebook Ads Manager using Foreplay as your inspiration.